Now that we've measured a traditional angle using the traditional method, we also have the ability to remove a couple of the steps in the procedure if you're going to go ahead and measure the same part or multiple parts with the same angle and the same, same step size needed. To do so, we can program the gauge block size into the display so we don't have to go back, touch off the plate, and then go ahead and touch off the gauge block. In order to do so, we need to go into our menu, which is going to be done by holding down the Tremo symbol button, bringing us to our menu, hitting the right arrow to bring us to the second page of the menu. Here you'll see a little angle, and you'll also see the ability to check that box. If you put an X in that box, it's asking you for the gauge block size that you're using. Basically meaning we're going to program the step size that we're going to take when we measure this angle. I'm using a one inch gauge block. The display is in millimeters, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the 25.4 millimeters. If that were not there, and if I were to delete that, I would simply use the keypad to write 25.4 in metric is equivalent to one inch. I'm going to hit the check mark to confirm that value, and then if I turn my angle on and turn it off, resetting it, I can proceed to measure this angle. Now if I drive into the angle, and the gauge block has been removed from the process, I will go ahead and remove the gauge block, and push my part up against the straight edge, take my second measurement, and now the gauge is automatically presenting me with an angle where I don't have to go ahead and measure the gauge block size. This is going to be very helpful when you go to continuously measure the same part over and over again, eliminating that step of touching off the plate and measuring the gauge block size.